Hey guys, it's me, Kit the Explorer, and you're watching Kit Explores. I'm here with my buddy Miles, and we're gonna explore something cool. What do you think it is? Mm, a star. I'll show you. We're going to explore Rawr, dinosaurs. Cool, can you make a roar like a T-Rex? What, where's the T-Rex? Run, I hear T-Rex, let's go, come on. Whoa, look at this. This is a dino. It looks like it's T-Rex because he's got two little claws. Do you see right there? Two little claws and he's chasing these little dinos. These dinosaurs lived 65 million years ago. That's a long time. Let's go inside and look at some other dinos. Come on, Miles. Okay. Let's go. Ooh, look at this big Christmas tree. Whoa, it had our on it. Okay, let's go, come on. Okay. Let's sneak in and check out some dinos. Look at all these flying dinosaurs. All the dinosaurs died a long time ago and they got buried under the earth. And people called paleontologists dig them up. Look at this big giant dino leg. Do you see him digging it out of the ground? That's pretty cool. Come over here. Paleontologists and archeologists dig up all sorts of things. Sometimes they find things that aren't dino bones. They find things like old cans and old shoes and sometimes maybe even old adventure goggles, just like the ones Miles is wearing. That's pretty cool. Let's go check out some more dinos. It's dark in here, spooky. Let's go. Planet Earth. The planet Earth. Uh -huh. That's where you live. Uh -huh. Whoa. Okay, yeah. we're dark in here. We're going through a dark cave full of stars. This is the universe. Oh. Whoa, guess what? When life first started on this planet, it started in the oceans. There were jellyfish and plants, and these are called stromatolites. They're big balls of bacteria, and they popped up on planet Earth over two billion years ago. Look at the ocean and the volcano. Is that so cool? Let's go keep exploring. A spooky fish? Whoa! Scary! Look at how big that fish is! Guess what guys? I see some dinosaurs. Should we go check out some dinosaurs now, Miles? Mm -hmm. I see them over there. There's tons of dinos here. Look at that flying dino. Is he spooky? Let's hide from him. Come on, let's hide! Do you think he can see us? <laughs> Come here, look! Look at all those dinosaurs! What kind of dinosaurs can you see? Look at this dino right here. He's called a Stegosaurus, and he has big spikes on his back. That's so cool. Can you see the Stegosaurus over here? Let's look. Oh, there he is. There are his bones. Look at those Stegosaurus bones. I'll pick you up because you're tiny, huh? Look at those dinos. Whoa. Oh my gosh, do you see that giant dino up there? There's a big, giant dino. Look at how big he is. That's a big dinosaur. Is that the biggest dino you've ever seen? But guess what? This dinosaur isn't even the biggest dinosaur that ever lived. Some dinosaurs were so big, and some dinosaurs ate plants, yum, 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 yum. and some dinosaurs ate meat. Yikes! Which dinosaurs do you think eat meat, Miles? That dino? Probably. Let's go sneak up on him, come on. Let's sneak. Let's sneak, sneak with me on, on the dino. Sneak. Sneak, sneak. Oh, scary. There's a dino there, and I think he probably eats other dinos because he's got sharp, sharp teeth. Let's take a look. Ooh, 
Whoa! That's a spooky dino. He's got sharp teeth. And that's how we know he eats meat or other dinos. Scary. Look down there. Should we explore those dinosaurs? I think we should get a closer look. Let's run, I heard a T-Rex roaring. <gasps> the T-Rex might come. Did you hear that T-Rex? <gasps> run, he's gonna get us. Run from the T-Rex, come on. This way, Miles. This is a tiny little Allosaurus. An Allosaurus grew really, really big. And he would eat dinosaurs like Stegosaurus. So crazy. Guess what this is? This is the pelvis of a Supersaurus, one of the biggest dinosaurs ever. The pelvis is this part of your body. Yeah, a T animal here. You don't see a T Rex in here? Mm -hmm. You're right. That's because T Rex is probably afraid of these bigger dinos that eat plants. And these dinos are way bigger than T Rex, so he's probably afraid to come in here. Which makes me really happy, because T-Rex is a scary dino, huh? But I think I hear him. Should we go explore some more? Come on, let's go explore some more. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, let's sneak through this dino's legs. Look, there's a bigger Allosaurus. Oh man, spooky. Come on. Guess what? We're right in the middle of one of the biggest dinosaurs, the Brachiosaurus, and one of the tiniest dinosaurs, the Compsognathus. So cute! Are they so cute? Yeah, look at them. They just run around like little chickens. Compsognathus is probably just like the chickens that you see on a farm. They were tiny, and they'd run around really fast, and they'd make probably little chirping noises. Come on, let's go check out some other things. I think that there are some dinos back here that we can play with. Let's go check it out. Come on, hold my hand. Whoa! And we're back. We made it back. Look at this. It's a dino playground. Should we go check out some of the dinos to play with in the sand? What do you think? Should we play with a dino in the sand? Let's go. There's sand in here that we can play with. And dinos too. Should we go grab a dino to play with? Come on, Mom. Well, a volcano? That's cool. Let's go play with some dinos. Look, here, here's a stegosaurus for you to play with. And I think I remember I have a dino in my pocket. Remember my explorer's pouch? My explorer's pouch has a little dino. Let's play in the sand. I'm gonna get you, Stegosaurus. Oh, oh, oh. Look, my dino can swim through the water. He's a good swimmer. Are you gonna come and try to get my dino? Oh, he's trying to swim away. He's coming, he's swimming through the water. Jump, 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 jump. Whoa, how fun, huh? Look at all these dinos and all the water and all these rocks, and it's probably just like where the dinos used to live. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Probably. Look at this dino. I bet we can mix and match the different parts of the dino. What happens if you flip this up? Whoa! It's turning into a different dino now. Let's see what other dinos are under here. That's cool. Should we flip another dino? What dino do you think this is? Now we have half Stegosaurus and half Triceratops. Could we get the full Stegosaurus? Can you help me flip that up? Let's go. Use your muscles. Whoa! Underneath him is oh, the king of the dinos, T-Rex. Scary, let's see what he looks like. T 
T-Rex. Should we go explore some more dinos? Whoa, look at this wall. It's a paleontologist puzzle. We can put the dinosaur bones back together just like a paleontologist and see what we can make. Whoa, somebody did a great job building Stegosaurus. We're gonna build a Brachiosaurus skeleton. Here's his head, so we'll put that up there. And here's his long, long neck. Whoa, that's the biggest neck I've ever seen. These, I think, are his shoulder blades. This goes right there. This is gonna be a big dinosaur puzzle. That's a long neck, isn't it? Here are his ribs and his hips. There are his legs. Now we're just missing his tail. Look at how cool that Brachiosaurus is, but he's not complete. We need to figure it out just like a real paleontologist. Maybe this, there it is. We'll call that good. There's the Brachiosaurus, he's all done. That was a lot of fun. And let's learn a tiny bit more about dinosaurs. Dinosaur bones are hidden in the earth. The reason the dinosaurs are hidden in the earth is because they all died a long, long time ago. A paleontologist is a person that digs up dinosaur bones and finds them, and then they put them back together, just like we did in our puzzle. I think we should probably go look at some more dinosaur bones that paleontologists have put together and put in this museum for you and for me and for people, little kids like Miles, to go and look at and learn all about. Should we go look at some more dinosaurs? Yeah! Whoa, look at those. Those are all the different skulls of all sorts of different kinds of animals. Dinosaurs and animals and people. We're at my favorite two dinosaurs, Tyrannosaurus rex and Triceratops. Let's go look at them. They're so scary. These Tyrannosaurus rexes are so big. Look how big a footprint is from Tyrannosaurus rex. This is so big. The Tyrannosaurus rex's foot is as big as Miles is, probably just as big as you are. Look at this Tyrannosaurus rex. Tyrannosaurus rex was one of the biggest predators to ever wa walk the earth. And you know what that means? It means the Tyrannosaurus Rex, he ate other dinos. <laughs> so scary, he could probably eat me if he was still alive. It's whew, a good thing that all the dinosaurs are gone, huh? Because I wouldn't want that chasing me, especially since there's two of them. That's pretty scary. Guess what? In ancient times, before people lived, and during the time of the dinosaurs, it wasn't just giant dinosaurs that lived on the earth giant dinosaurs and other creatures also lived in the sea. Let's splash in and swim around in an ancient sea. Come on, let's go. Come on. Look at how big this turtle is. Do you remember we met Spike a couple of episodes ago? and he's a teeny tiny turtle. This is a big giant turtle. One of the biggest turtles to ever live. Is that the biggest turtle you've ever seen? Whoa. And look at this. This is a Tylosaurus and it's one of the scarier creatures to ever swim in the sea. Some people are afraid of sharks, but if these were still alive, I bet you'd be more afraid of them. I'm about to show you one of my favorite things at the Dinosaur Museum. A giant shark named Megalodon. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh, he's so big. This shark was so big, he could chomp you in one bite. Look at how big his teeth are. I 
I bet you a shark this big could swallow me in one gulp. Chomp. Is that crazy? That right there is a great white shark. And this is the biggest shark that's alive and swimming in the oceans today. And he's way smaller than Megalodon. Megalodon's so big, they can only fit his head in this building. They can fit a whole great white shark in this building, but only the Megalodon's head because he's huge. Thanks so much for watching Kit Explores. I'm Kit the Explorer, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more fun educational videos. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, should we go swim by Megalodon? <laughs>